it's John here. I want to introduce you to the incredible salmon fishing in Hokkaido. I've never caught a salmon, and from what I've seen, it's very similar to North America and Canada. Big salmon running up the rivers. The salmon in question here, it's a chum salmon. Grows very big, up to 10 plus kilograms. salmon fishing on the east coast of Hokkaido for years. Uh, I've worked over there and I've seen the big salmon schools running up the rivers uh, but I've been too busy with work commitments uh, to wet a line. So this year with obviously lots of time on my hands uh, I decided that this was the year I was going to wait for autumn and get over and chase those big salmon. And while I was waiting for autumn to approach I had to keep my hand in, of course. So I managed to explore some of the local rivers in central Hokkaido, which again, I'd never fished in. Oh, a nice little trout here. fun catching some of the local trout. Nice amemas. Beautiful. But eventually the autumn colours started to change, the weather started to cool down and it was time to head east to the Sea of Ohotsk to chase the big chum salmon. The area I'm going to is the Shiretoko Peninsula, which is a World Heritage Area on the east coast of Hokkaido. This is Hokkaido salmon fishing. Rods lined up along the beach, waiting for something to swim past. How many eggs are you using? Katsu, yes. Ah, so. I understand. Yes. I'm going right around the other side there to the Shinnetoka Peninsula and I'm going to fish around some of the river mounds. Now you're not allowed to actually fish in the rivers, but you are allowed to fish near the mouth. So that's going to be where I'm going to try my hand at catching some of these big chunk salmon. See how we go. This is the bear gate. Incredible. Hello there guys, what you doing? The idea is when you go down to the mouth of the river to fish, the bears don't follow you. <laughs> anyway, no bears today.
大きいね Despite my amateur efforts, I managed to catch my first salmon. But I realised, having looked at what the equipment and the technique and the style that the others around me were using, I really didn't have the right gear yet. So I was determined to come back and have another go. But before I did come back, I was going to see if I can upgrade my equipment to maximise my chances of catching some more of these fantastic salmon. Again. Nature's bounty. Nothing quite like fresh fish. This is just simple. <sighs> Let's hope there's no bears wandering around. My second trip over to catch the salmon, and this time I've got the right equipment. Local fishing shop. Lots of different lures. Konnichiwa. Three piece carbon rod, 5,000 level reel with 20 kilo braid on it, and I'll run you through the lures that are used over here. It's quite a unique system, but it works really well on these salmon. One thing I learnt last week, 10, 11 foot stiff carbon rod, a nice long casting stance for maximum distance. Then comes the float. One of these, blue, pink, with a pinky coloured feathered tail. And then we add some salted bonito. So, <laughs> lure, fly, bait. Right, well, it's time to go off and have a fish. Just found the way in to the entrance to the Kitami Horobetsu River. Um, I've heard from another fishing acquaintance I met down at Shiratoko that there could be some good salmon fishing here. Um, I like the access, so that's a good start. There's plenty of guys fishing here. Fish certainly aren't biting, so I think I'll call it quits, go and get a good night's sleep and get back into it first thing in the morning. To get yourself a good spot, you've got to get away early for the salmon fishing, so it's about quarter past four, sunrise in about half an hour. So I'm going to get down there and get on the spot 
and uh, see if I can catch some more of these beautiful salmon. So, fishing in the dark, we use a bobby cork, a bubble float, and we're going to attach this glow stick to it. So, crack it open. There we go. And these come with a designated little hole just there. And it goes. There we go. Now I can see it bobbing away in the dark waters. Wow, what a fabulous morning. Landed four, dropped one, and all the blokes around me, uh, apart from crossing lines constantly, uh, most of them pulled in a fish or two. One of them said to me that it's uh, a little bit unusual to have so many fish. Uh, and I think the fish come in schools at different times, different days, so it's a bit of a luck of the draw that I just happen to be here on a, on a good day. Anyway, fantastic fishing. Beautiful salmon. Whoop. Just caught this morning. Uh, GoPro failed. So there we go. Fantastic fish. Whoop. We'll uh, get in the bag and uh, have him for dinner. it. It's been a fantastic experience. I've had nearly five weeks, uh, five trips over to the Sea of Ohotsk in the northeast corner of Hokkaido. Uh, I learned a lot. I've never caught salmon before. I caught over a dozen beautiful fish, the biggest being around the 10 kilogram mark, which is a fantastic fish. Now that I know the technique and the locations and the seasons, I imagine I'll be back for another go at this fantastic salmon fishing. I hope you enjoy Akiyaji, the flavour of autumn.